right, good morning YouTube. Rob here from Milwaukee Bikers. It's Saturday. Beautiful day out here in beautiful Wisconsin. My family is all out doing stuff. Everyone's out working or playing. Here am I on the motorcycle and adventure awaits. Adventure on a Saturday, right? Saturday, I've got a beautiful Harley Davidson motorcycle. Got a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. We can see what's in store for this day. I have no idea. I'm literally just sitting around the house going, okay, what can I do today? Because I don't have to do anything. It's actually kind of a nice feeling. It's been a rough week. It's been a long week at work. So I'm at the house and I'm thinking I need some supplies. So first stop is a uh, supply stop today. Oh, we got a scoot. Scoot, scoot. Nice to be able to scoot when you have to. Well, I tell you what, this bike is awesome. I love this thing. I've been watching the videos of the new CVOs and it's making me think about my bike and how much I like it and how much the new bikes are, uh, they're actually really awesome. They're pretty amazing motorcycles. You should check out, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the video here to the, the CVO launch video. It's pretty awesome pretty exciting to see that kind of stuff come out can't wait to ride it again I actually got a chance to ride it last summer and it's amazing so hopefully you guys have been able to check out the last couple of videos that I've been doing I'm I'm actually pretty excited about them the thing that I love about doing these videos is is being able to put together some just cool shots and uh, be able to watch something for me that's entertaining watching the cool shots and having some good music to go along with it and uh, this, the, the drone footage is just something I'm really excited about because now I can add some stuff in that you just can't do with a GoPro which uh, nothing wrong with a GoPro uh, for sure but you, you get one perspective from that and you get a whole another one from a drone and I just love that stuff The, the pictures from Red Rock Canyon, I thought were really, really cool. That was like my first big drone footage kind of stuff. And Don and I just got back from vacation. We went down to Charleston and there wasn't any uh, motorcycle content, so no YouTube videos, but lots of uh, videos for ourselves. And I was doing some editing last night on those and the drone footage is just stunning got some drone shots from when we were riding a boat oh here we are the promised land walgreens let's go get some supplies <laughs> Let's see if we can find the stuff. What's a guy got to do for a comb? All right, supply stop complete. Time to go back home. Yeah, buttercup. Scoot, scoot. Oh, 
I wonder what kind of shenanigans I can find myself in today. Look, like I desperately need a haircut. That's super exciting for you guys, isn't it? Also thinking about going down to the museum. They've got the uh, demo rides down at the museum every Saturday. Kind of thinking about doing that. Kind of thinking about going by a dealership. This is why people live in Wisconsin. This is June and it's beautiful. Out here on a beautiful Saturday morning, got my leather jacket on, and it's warm, uh, but not so warm that you can't just wear your leathers. All I know is I hope this microphone's working. <laughs> I've tried it before. I think it was because I put it on my half helmet, so it was getting a lot of wind noise. Now I got it inside this full face helmet. We'll have to see how things turn out. Hopefully it worked good. I see some of these uh, moto vlogs out there and you guys are talking to the talking to us that are watching and I love it. I love hearing what you guys have to say. There's nothing better than rolling on the throttle of a big V-twin motor. It makes all the right sounds. All right, so here I am, part two of my Saturday, wandering around what I'm gonna be when I grow up. I think I'd know by now, but I don't. For the record, I spared you guys the, uh, the mundaneness of uh, a haircut, so I did get my haircut. <clears throat> so now I feel like I've uh, taken care of myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to a couple of dealerships and get some quotes on some uh, personalization work that I want to get done. So I'm interested in getting uh, three, three jobs quoted. So job number one would be uh, new handlebars. Job number two would be a uh, performance upgrade to the motor. So I'm thinking like a torque cam and then the Screaming Eagle uh, tune. And uh, that combined with the stage one bits that I already have on the bike should be a pretty good improvement to performance. And then the third thing I wanna do is I want to, um, I wanna check into some LED turn signals. Now I mentioned this last time, a couple years back, you know, I've had this bike since 2019. A couple years back, I got some, uh, from the other guys, uh, they were a deal, and at the time, Harley didn't have any uh, didn't have any LED turn signals, and so that's what I ended up getting. So now I want to see what it would cost for me to get get into some Harley Davidson LED turn signals, and I actually like them like the way they look better because they're not. Uh, they're not points, they're kind of more smooth. Uh, diffused, I think, is the word that they use. <laughs> Do it just land on the horn back there. <laughs> like giving it. Giving it. You know, Don and I were talking about that the other day in South Carolina. Everyone's so super friendly. But you get them in their cars, man, and they are very willing to honk at you. <laughs> They're like, get out of the way. You're going too slow. Oh, man. I love it. Maybe I should start using my horn more often. Maybe I'm not using my horn enough. What do you guys think? Should the horn be used frequently and liberally as a gesture of communication, regular communication, open, transparent? 
share your feelings with the world. Is that the kind of horn user you are? Or are you like me? Are you kind of like uh, a horn introvert? Don't really like honking the horn that much. Kind of just uh, push your road rage down, hold it in, bottle it up, conceal, don't feel. <laughs> oh man. It's warm enough that my engine idle temperature management system turned on. Didn't think it was that warm out today. And yes, I know what ITMIS stands for. Let's do this. Let's go! heritage soft tail and it's got the mini eight hangers on it when i'm on her bike the handlebar position and my hands feel like they're in a much more natural position than when i'm on my bike so the rider triangle is such that the hands are a lot higher on hers than on mine and it's uh one of those things where you know, like I said, you get used to it, but I've got, uh, I've had shoulder injuries and you know, I'm old. 